Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watts Solds which will be for Friday through Sunday last weekend February 3rd through the 5th. It was some it was a really good weekend but y'all oh I have just gone downhill quickly as far as sales this week on all the platforms. It's like this is the week that everybody's like not shopping, not shopping, but I say this all the time for me personally, you know, I need to make enough to support us during the year, but fourth quarter is what I'm working for. I'm trying, I don't know, I'm trying to get a bunch of listings done, a bunch. I want to have more than I've ever had before. Well, right now I'm almost to where I'm the highest I've ever been. Um, but I'm just going to keep on keeping on. I have tons of inventory to list. I've got lots of videos to be making on all of the St. Louis stuff we picked up. And then hopefully every once in a while we'll sprinkle in some estate sales, thrift store stuff. Um, last night we released that video on the Coles Cares Plush. I I'm amazed at how many people have watched that video. You know, it's, it's not one of the ones that's going to have you know, a $500 sold, but they are so easy to find. They're everywhere. And there were a few surprises in there. So I was, I was, I was happy, very happy with it. But let me think, my largest sale wasn't on eBay this weekend or yeah, for this weekend, it was on Posh, but I had some doozies on eBay. So Let's get to it, right? Mercari. Mercari. I haven't decided what I'm going to do there. I haven't hardly been cross-listing onto it because I just, you know, the, the this new shipping rate just kind of irks me a little. Just, you know, we're just not going to make as many sales on there as I think we could if the prices were more reasonable. And I just don't understand why all the platforms can't figure out what Poshmark did as far as excellent rates excellent shipping rates why can't they all do that so i'm not cross-listing much so we'll see i haven't decided what i'm gonna do with mercari but a five dollar sale is a five dollar sale this is a snuggle bear and you know what's funny is i don't even know how that price got to five I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to go at some point maybe and check my prices because this was listed on eBay for 10 So how did it get to 5 on Poshmark? I don't know. It sold for $5. Um, it's gone. But Snuggle Bears, I do really well with. This is, I mean, an itty bitty one, but I think it was the pajamas on it that, you know, made it a little more unique. Natto, Natu, I don't know. I don't find that brand very often. This was a cute little deer, like a baby plush. Um, sold for $21 on Poshmark. Not Poshmark, on Mercari. I think I've sold almost all of the backpacks except Jojo Siwa. I've still got, I don't know, four or five of her left, but I think that was the one that I had the most of. They've been doing really well on Poshmark and Mercari. I don't know when's the last time I actually sold one of them on eBay. But these I picked up at the Finders Keepers a long time ago. We're still selling some of them. Um, but it sold on Poshmark for $10. And I'm fine. You know, I talked about this in another video. I'm fine. I've talked myself into being okay with $10 sales on Poshmark. I made $7.05 on that. You know, by the time I have something on eBay that's 10%, I mean $10, take away the 12%, probably going to sell under promoted listing fees for 10%. I wouldn't have made that much. So I have started listing lower dollar stuff on there and a lot of my high dollar, don't get me wrong. Um, and then just seeing, seeing what happens. Fiesta. This was a cute little duck. Um, had a, like a straw hat on. Sold for $22 on Poshmark. Commonwealth Dog Plush. It sold, it was from 1990. It sold for 
Y'all, do you see any clothes? All of my clothes are on eBay and Poshmark. And I'm selling plush on Poshmark. On, on Poshmark. Okay, this is a three. The next three was a bundle deal. This was like, I've only had one other bundle. And then this last weekend I had a bundle of three. And then this weekend I sold a bundle of two. But these were from that um, HO scale stuff we picked up at an estate sale. I have made hundreds of dollars on this. Um, this one was just two of the um, HO scale houses. It was a Colonial and a Cape Cod. They made me an $80 offer, which I accepted. And I think I ended up making $60, $64 after all of their fees and everything. And then they sent me, I mean, they included this item. These were the little tiny, tiny HO scale um, people with some um, benches. And then this one was lifelike. Again, HO scale people in a set that was standing and people who were walking. But right here is my big sale. Brass. Y'all, brass. A brass zebra, seven and a half inches tall. A hundred and two dollars on Poshmark. Watch for brass. Not all of it is high dollar, but I've done amazing with the brass that we picked up last summer. I bought two large lots of it. Now some of it's still sitting over there unlisted. I got to get to it. I say that about a lot. Gotta get to the build a bears Gotta get to that. Y'all, I have a huge tote of monster high dolls got to get to these but a hundred and two dollars for a brass zebra all right one sell on etsy to share booba those are the creepiest characters and toys but pick them up especially these ones they're 13 inches tall they make sounds and they move this one was jingba they were from 2003 Sold on Etsy for $38.95. All right, then to eBay. Lots to share with you on eBay. Muppet Babies. These were two of the coloring books that I bought at an estate sale. Um, I bought a lot of crafting stuff. These were unused. I've already sold the Rainbow Bright and another set of two. Um, I got a $20 offer on these two. I just decided to go ahead and accept it. These were Muppet Babies and Muppet Babies Playtime Fun. I will start watching the books from now on at yard sales and stuff for coloring books. Because I just saw, I want to say maybe in Bolo Buddies group, somebody sold a used coloring book for a lot. So I, it just really depends on who the coloring book is about. I don't know why this is all magnified. This is Dakin. I love Dakin. I love Russ. Eden. These are like the ones I love the most, especially the vintage stuff. This was a, a 1985 bear holding that little heart pillow. Sold for $11.66. Now most of the, a lot of the plush I list are from the bins, so I don't have very much in them. Fisher Price Little People Yellow Stairs. Um, this went to one of the houses that I picked up. I think this is from the one I bought at a yard sale. I think I paid 20 or $30 for a box that had several sets with um, accessories to it. Sold for $8.96. This is from that online high bid estate sale I won. This was just a cute teddy bear, but the bonus for it was it was wearing um, advertising apparel. Um, this was for Chase Bank. It sold for $34.16. Advertising, definitely watch out. Anything and everything, mugs, um, plush, anything. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Kathy. Kathy picked up the Folk Manus Gray Squirrel Finger Puppet for $8.96. Another thing from that high bid estate sale. Um, this is Starkist Tuna, Charlie, 
five and a half inches, sold for eight dollars. I'm good with that. Fluffies. I've gotten a couple of questions. I've gotten a couple of emails recently about Thai beanies. You know, I, I, it, it makes me sad that people get on eBay, they look something up, and the first sold that they see is $10,000. And, it, you know, just for that moment, they think that they found this treasure. And then if you watched my video and I show you how to go through the process of determining if those are legit sells or not, you realize most beanies are $10 or less. But I love the Pluffies. I love the Pillow Pals. Um, and I love the, I think they're called Thai Babies or something like that. They've got a rattle inside of them. I will pick them up anytime. Most bread and butter, but there are a few that are definitely bolos. This one is the Yellow Duck from 2002. His name is Puddles. I think there's another one that's more yellow, and his name is like Quackers or something. But he sold for $14.95, and it was pretty quickly because my sale hadn't even started yet. This person bought two of the Carter's Pink Elephant Loveys. They were identical, so I'm sure they're buying them as backups probably. Um, paid $26.90 for the two of them. Kenner Baby All Gone doll. I think I picked this up in a lot. And I there is um, some accessories, like a spoon and a little bowl and maybe a bottle or something. Um, those are where the money is. This was just the doll with no accessories. She still sold for $12.55. Dandy Black Bear Plush, 19 inches, sold for $15. Kelly Toy Brown Cow Plush. When you see fabric like this, I usually were, use the word quilted. It's just kind of got that like almost checkerboard type thing in it. It sold for $9.86. Again, most of these I have a dollar or less in them. And if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping, so that person also pays additional for the shipping. Now, this is an Aurora Pink Pig Plush. I sell a lot of pigs. Um, this one did make sounds, sold for $11.08. This is from that handkerchief lot that I picked up um, at an estate sale. It had lots of issues. I was not going to wash them. I would just... There were stains on them, discoloration. I just put in my listing, leaving all cleaning to the buyer. I didn't want it to shrink or unravel. I didn't want to press them. It's one of the exceptions I make. A lot of times I try to make sure everything that I list is ready, ready. You know, it's clean and ready to play with. But the vintage stuff, I have learned my lesson on some things that I've ruined it trying to clean them. Columbia Women's Shirt sold for $12.21. It had been listed almost from the beginning when we started listing probably a year and a half ago. So I was ready for it to move on. I have started dating my listings now in the custom SKU so that I can start paying better attention to things that are getting older. I never did that before. I know some people... Um, I think Courtney does because she tends to be able to tell how long it's been listed and what she originally bought it for, but I didn't, and I regret that, but I, you know, I started last month making sure I uh, put when I list something for, because I do the end and sell similar every single month, so I can't keep up with it that way. This is a Squishmallow. Piper the Penguin 8-inch plush sold for $13.45. I bought a bunch of Squishmallow at the bins. Now this. This is American Girl, but it is the Welly Wishers. I had never heard of that until one time I found an outfit at the um, bins and realized it had an American Girl tag in it. Now this, these dolls are way smaller than the normal American Girl dolls. Um, I found this outfit on 
not an American Girl doll and went ahead and, you know, listed this separately, this outfit sold almost immediately for $17.95. So definitely familiarize yourself with Welly Wishers and their outfits. Handy Manny tools. I picked up a large bag of them at one of the consignment sales, which they're getting ready to start. I think the first one might be next weekend. If you're not familiar with consignment sales, we have these organizations who put together these consignment sales and people bring all of their stuff and then they put them in these large venues and you can go in and buy. And But it's all kids clothes, kids toys. Sometimes they make a few exceptions for like household stuff, but I tend to do really well there. Um, I think I paid $8 for a huge bag of these and I divvied them up by what they went to, years, size, that stuff. These four sold for $11.66 and you can see they have lots of paint wear. Um, it's just, kids are tough, especially if you give them a pretend tool, they're going to pound stuff and hit stuff and they get a lot of wear. This is a Nike Thermo Fit women's hoodie, sold for $13 best offer. Minnesota Green Bear plush, souvenir type plush from the RGU group, sold for $8.96. I pick them up if I'm going to get them super cheap, like at the bins, because there's always somebody who probably has a collection of these and wants to, you know, buy that one to fill in. SeaWorld Orca Hand Puppet. I've done very well with hand puppets this month. Sold for $8.96. Now this one did have a squeaker in his mouth. So anytime you have plush that either, like the hand puppets that have like a stiff mouth because there's like cardboard or a plastic piece in there, or if they have squeakers, don't mail them in poly mailers or bubble mailers. Put them in a box so that that isn't damaged. Lego minifigures, still selling them. This is a Mars Mission astronaut set. They sold for best offer of $10. Thai Pluffies. This one is one of the newer, I think there's even a newer one. This is the one from mid 2000s, 2013. They're called like Love to Baby love to baby. I'm pretty sure that they come in pink and blue. This one did not have the removable pajamas. The ones to really be looking for, um, this, um, pajamas come off of, and there's even another one that's even better and the pajamas come off, but they've got like bunny ears or something on them. Um, this sold still for $13 and 45 cents. Factor X plastic toy racing car. I don't know where I got this from. Don't know. Maybe the bins. It did have a pull string that worked. It was from 1989. Sold for best offer of $15. Bama Opley. It was sealed. New. Um, it's been listed a while too. Got a best offer of $15. Manhattan Toys, I love that brand, but it just, it's just isn't appreciated, I think, as much as like Jelly Cat. And I think they are of comparable quality and softness. This dinosaur sold for $8.96. Kelly Toy, lovey, love loveys. Most I sell for bread and butter. I do have some exceptions, like the $80 Kyle and Dina one I sold recently. Um, but still, this one ain't bad, $16.20. Most of these I get probably for like a quarter at the bins and, you know, a lot of times less than a dollar at yard sales. White House Black Market Jeans sold for $21.55. Disney Store, 101 Dalmatian Plush. This is 12 inch, sold for $10, best offer. 
I think, I want to say I bought this doing one of Bolo Buddy's Ben's challenges. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, this is Care Bears. I'm thinking it was handmade. There were no tags. Did have lots of stains and discoloration. I washed it, but I just went ahead and showed the stains and stuff. It was only on um, listed maybe a couple of months. $17.95. I just showed this recently. I was telling y'all that I have bought this exact type plush at least five times. Never has a tag, but Google lensed it and it told me again, it's creative concepts. This one was so cute. It sold quickly, a couple of days at the most for best offer of $10. Robert asked in my Facebook group the color on this these shorts. We're terrible with colors when it's not blue, black, you know, for jeans and pants. And you start getting into different shades of purples and oranges. Oh my goodness. We're terrible. So we had asked what was this green. And the consensus was it was olive green. I listed it. Sold probably within a day for best offer of $10. Men's shorts in the middle of winter for us anyway. Columbia PFG. Coles. Coles. Bugs Bunny. Tell you, I love Coles. This is 19 inch. Again, he's been listed less than a month. Sold for $13.45. This is another viewer sale, so thank you so much, Sherry. Sherry purchased this cute golden keepsakes rabbit doll, $8.96. These, these are Fisher Price Smart Cycle. These are the, the little cartridges that go in it to, um, so when the child is like pedaling and there's an activity that comes up on the smart cycle and it's you know all these different characters like these were cars spongebob square pants hot wheels learning adventure and thomas these are excellent a lot of times i can find them all together clipped um this sold very quickly for 33 dollars and 26 cents hello kitty didn't even have a tag, so I'm not quite sure who the manufacturer was. 12 inch, just looked vintage to me. Sold for $35.95. Y'all, I just showed you on in our first um, on, on the road, is that what we we're calling it? On the road video that we put out. I went to an estate sale and this was just down in a tote underneath a table. But these are Tomy fashion plates. They were complete, except I did not have the pencils, the colored pencils that come with it. It sold probably less than two hours. Might even have been less than an hour. I was working, 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 and then I went in just to see if anything had sold while I was um, listing stuff, and it had already sold. So I don't know if it was minutes or two hours later when I checked. But $69.95. Definitely keep your out, eyes out for them. My best sell of the week on eBay. Robert picked these up. I passed on them, to be honest. These are minor wear, pineapple, pitcher, jug, and cup set. Made in the USA. Robert paid $10 and it had all of these in the box. Some placemats that were had pineapple designs on them and then like a little pineapple serving dish i haven't listed either one of them yet the placemats have lots of stains so i haven't decided what i'm going to do with them but these sold for 71 dollars 95 cents all right hope you enjoyed that you know i have to remember these these good sales on weeks like this week and y'all i ran a i never again famous last words never again but it seems when i do a sale that's more than 10 percent, i plan for 10 percent less in my prices because i do run a sale all the time 
sometimes seven, eight, ten, something like that. Monday through Thursday is one sell, and then the weekend is another. But I did 15% this week. I thought, sales are slow. Let me go ahead and do this. 15% off, and then so many of the offers are like half of the remaining price. You know, 20 on a $125 bear, you know, 20 on an $80 listing, two on a $15 listing. It just brings out even more worse offers, I think. Anybody else feel that way? The higher you do your, your sale, the more issues you have with just pitiful offers, pitiful. Never again, not gonna do it. 10% or less. <sighs> All right, it's time to get to work. Time to get to work. <laughs> and it's hard. Don't lose your motivation. Don't, don't. Just keep on, keep it on because it's, you know it's gonna get better. You know it. By next week, hopefully, I'll have an excellent week and it'll be like ebbs and flows and I'll be on the, the up and then, just don't know. But everybody knows February is awful for sales. Just awful. All right. Bye.